Hey guys, what is going on? It is Ghost here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to download and play the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer on your Mac. This is actually a video that's been requested to me thousands of times through, you know, direct messages. I've had Facebook messages, comments, everything, and I'm finally going to deliver. So stay tuned. Oh, I'm unbeatable. Alrighty guys, first things first, let's head on over to the desktop and right click, select new folder, and I'm going to go ahead and name mine Pokemon Randomizer. And the only reason that I'm really doing this is to help things stay organized. There's no sense in having files all over the place when we can keep them all in one discrete location. After that, head on over to your web browser of choice. I'm going to use Google Chrome for no reason. But once we're here, we're going to head on over to openemu.org. This is the emulator that we're going to use. It's basically the device that we're going to be playing on the computer. And the reason I'm choosing OpenEMU is because you have all kinds of different platforms that you guys can play and it's all in the same emulator. Next we're going to head on over to the ROM and the ROM is basically just the original file of the game that we're going to be playing and I'm going to be using Pokemon Emerald. So cool thing about this randomizer is that you can use any Pokemon game that's you know originally made in the US and part of the original series. So anything from red and blue to black and white 2 can be randomized with this program that I'm about to show you and that program is called Universal Pokemon Game Randomizer. So head on over to the downloads tab Select download for all other platforms if you guys are going to be using a Mac. And let's go ahead and get all of these files downloaded and moved into the Pokemon randomizer folder that we created at the beginning of this video. Alrighty, once you have everything downloaded and moved into your Pokemon randomizer folder, you're going to notice that you're going to have three zipped files. The easiest way to extract these is just to double click and it's going to extract each one. And once they are all extracted, we're going to go ahead and look at the Open EMU app first, just so we can get it downloaded and installed. So go ahead and select the OpenEMU.app, and it's going to open up your guys' emulator. Now, for those of you that are opening this up for the first time, you are going to have to configure a few stats. And basically, it's just going to ask you to select which consoles you want to use and which ones you don't. Make sure that you do have your Pokemon Game Boy Advance emulator, or I guess you're just Game Boy Advance emulator selected. And then... After that's all downloaded and installed, we can go ahead and move back to the folder because that can be set aside for now. Next, we're going to notice that we have the Pokemon ROM. It's going to be a GBA file, and then we're also going to have a folder that says UP Randomizer. Let's go ahead and double click on the folder first, and we're going to find the randomizer.jar file. This is going to be the application that randomizes the Pokemon Emerald ROM. So if we double click it and try to open it, it's going to say that it cannot be opened because it's from an unidentified developer. The way around this is to right click and select open. When you do that, it's going to give you an option to open the file. Once the file is open, you're going to notice that you're going to have a bunch of menus, but they're all grayed out, so you really can't do anything. And the only reason for that is because we haven't selected the ROM that we're going to randomize yet. So here in the top right, we're going to select open ROM, and we're just going to go back to the Pokemon randomizer folder and find the Pokemon Emerald or whichever randomizer file you're going to use and select open. You're going to know that everything is loaded because it's going to say complete and you're going to notice that all of these menus down below are now selectable. Now for this video, all I'm going to do is select random starter Pokemon and I'm going to do random wild Pokemon, but there's all kinds of cool options you guys can play around with. Once you have everything selected and set up the way that you want, we're going to click randomize save. Here it's just going to ask where you would like to save it. I like to go back to the Pokemon randomizer folder and we're just going to name this Emerald randomizer and then select save. After everything's saved it's going to ask if you want to create a save log and basically the save log it's going to be a text file that tells you where all of the Pokemon are, which route everything was randomized to, and you know which random Pokemon you're going to start out with. It's kind of cool if you guys want to check it out. If not then just select no. But I'm just going to select yes and it's going to save into your folder there. And last but not least it's going to give you a bunch of numbers and letters and all this is is an exact copy of the game that you just created. Go ahead and select done and we can move aside from the Pokemon Emerald Randomizer. Once you've closed the Randomizer application, all you have to do is go back and get into the original Randomizer folder that we have and find the Randomizer GBA file we just created. It's going to say Emerald Randomizer.GBA or whatever it was that you titled it. And the easiest way to open this into your emulator is just to click on it and drag right into the middle of the emulator. Once everything is finished downloading, all you need to do is right click and select Play Game. This will launch the game, and the only thing you need to do to check and make sure that everything has downloaded correctly is wait and see which Pokemon Professor Birch has. If it's something out of the ordinary, then you know that it's worked. 
This time, he's got a Bill Awesome, so we know that we've got a good randomizer going on. Stay tuned, guys. Thanks for watching the video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. I'm actually going to start a Let's Play series here soon. Let me know if you want me to do a Pokemon randomizer, if you want me to do a like a hacked game, anything like that. Just drop it down in the comments below. Once again, I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again. See you next time.